that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, hey there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. And today, I'm very excited to be checking out Chicken Limbo from Milton Bradley. This is for two or more players, ages four and up. It'll take you about five to ten minutes to play. And Chicken Limbo, if you could not guess, is Limbo. But the brilliant people at Milton Bradley said, hmm, you know what's missing from Limbo? How about a chicken? In particular, one where your children try to avoid the chicken's testicles. What? I don't know. Chicken fingers, chicken nuggets, kids love them. Will they love chicken balls? Let's open it up and see how it plays. Ooh, I love when I get to stand up for this part. Alrighty then, what do we got inside of Chicken Limbo? First and foremost, we have our handy dandy rule booklet. It is uh, two pages, kind of, but it's big and long. If you know how to play Limbo, you don't need that. It's really super simple. All you have to do is walk over to your chicken, which I have set up over here. It comes in a couple different parts. You got your legs down here. Uh, these do pull apart, these red parts. Then you got your chicken legs. He spread his legs. He's all like, yeah, come on through, kids. Come on through. Yeah, it's really creepy when a human does it, isn't it? All right, so what you're going to do, though, when you want to start up the game is press the top button here. Now, this one has too much battery corrosion and acid in it, but I'll give you the gist. Essentially, when your child runs into the ch uh, the chicken's testicles, what's going to happen is he says, bonk, 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 gotcha, in a kind of creepy chickenish way. But in case you didn't know how to play Limbo, let's go in, into the game and show you how it works. So essentially, you would have some fast-paced, festive music, so I'll set the scene. We're going to pretend we got a good, fast dance song going for you. Oh yeah, a little break, break dance stuff. Yeah, a little bit of that. You like that, don't you? And then you start doing the limbo. Now this, which the rules of the limbo are, you got to try and go underneath the bar without falling backwards. All right. Now this is for children, so it's going to be really difficult for a grown man to do this. So I'm just going to not fair, not fair. Well, it's a kids' game, so obviously it's not meant for adults. But anywho, all the kids will be going through, trying not to hit the chicken's junk. And the last kid to do it, since you can lo raise and lower the bar, is going to be the winner of Chicken Limbo. And that's how Chicken Limbo is played. Alrighty then, Chicken Limbo from Milton Bradley. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First on the con side, the game's not going to be for everybody. Literally, it's not going to be for everybody, because you can't play it if you were an adult, as I showed in the video. Uh, I wish you could make the bar bigger and, high, uh, bigger and lower. Well, just bigger so that adults could play with their kids, but apparently Milton doesn't care about kids. They don't, well, they care about adults, but not kids. Uh, also, these are the feet. This, this is supposed to be two parts. As you can see, this is rather large, which means you will never, ever, 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 never, ever, unless you've met a time machine, be able to put your chicken limbo back into the box, which is a really big freaking pet peeve of mine. If I get a game and I take it out of the box, you know what I want to do when I'm done? You know what I would do, Milton? Listen, Milton. Come here, Milton. I want to put it back in the box. You can't put it back in the box. That's a big annoyance. Uh, I was also really turned off by the fact that the kids were, had their face all around the chicken's crotch and they're all like, oh no, don't get me, don't get my face with the crotch. They didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking in my brain. Uh, the last con I have of this game is this game can be replaced by a stick. Any game that can be replaced by a stick is not a good game. Ticket to Ride, can I replace it with a stick? No. Twilight Imperium, stick? No. Oh, okay. I like those games. Don't like this game. Moving on to the pros, though. It's limbo. It's fun. They'll get exercise, you know, they'll like the chicken, go back, 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 and they'll have fun making, you know, sound like a chicken or whatnot, but come on, you couldn't throw some music with the chicken, some light up or something like that. Overall, I can't recommend this game, and I recommend a lot of these 90s games, because a lot of them are still fun and good, and this one is still fun and good, but the fact that you can't package it into the box is what really kills it for me. Because, because you can't store the thing, because like I said, these pieces are freaking huge. Overall though, Chicken Limbo, definitely steer clear of this one and just go find yourself a nice uh, new or used stick. But let me know, what's your favorite 90s game? Or let me know even more, what's your least favorite 90s game? Give me some flames, let me, give me a game to burn and set on fire and just rip it apart. I love doing that. But anywho, post your favorite or least favorite old 90s game in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this channel, please be sure to subscribe. And thank you for your time. That was a review for Chicken Limbo. For more reviews and previews, check back Bowers Game Corner.
Mm, you like that, don't you?